Well, he's instantly recognizable. Beloved former Sixers owner and president Pat Croce has been out of the spotlight for years now. But after winning a battle with cancer, he's back and partnering with the American Cancer Society and 6ABC for a brand new initiative called Healed. Our Jamie Apote joining us live from home now. And Jamie, you talked exclusively with Croce about why he's emerging now in this way with this organization. Yeah, Brian, when we think of Pat Croce, we picture him, we picture him courtside, right? It's been 20 years now since Croce and Allen Iverson and Larry Brown led the Sixers to the NBA Finals. Philadelphia fell in love with his fiery personality, his energy, his passion, his zaniness. Well, now let's just say we had to take the Action News van up a dirt road and then up another dirt road just to find him. And boy, does he have a story to tell. At the end of last year, it wasn't COVID that touched me. It was T-cell lymphoma touched my body. The pirate fanatic left with his own X marks the spot, a 58-stitch scar across his chest after surgery and radiation. I believe that I was graced with cancer. It wasn't a curse. And so Croce has reemerged from six years entirely off the grid to partner with the American Cancer Society for his newest passion project, Healed. Healed, H-E-A-L-E-D. Health and energy through active living every day. Since last month, he's already helped raise $1.7 million, and it's just the beginning. With a minimum donation, they can get this cool black lava bead bracelet with one green bead that represents unity. We're all in this together. It's self-awareness that has brought Croce to this point. After turning 60, he went off in search of the happiness he was always chasing and found it within. He traveled the globe to Bhutan, studying mindfulness and introspection. And now he spends his days in tranquility here, on the 53-acre private retreat outside Philadelphia, he calls Meditation Hill. When Philadelphia thinks of Pat Croce, I don't think they think zen, relaxed, calm, because they think back 20 years ago to the Sixers and the crazy Pat Croce. Am I, am I wrong in that? You're not wrong at all. No, and so know this, that frenzied wheel I was on, I still enjoy now being on it, but I keep one foot at the peaceful hub. He carved a mile and a half long Zen path through the woods by hand, laid each of these steps into a mountain of rock by hand, and developed a love for woodworking. I made that. You made the log cabin. Made the whole log cabin. By hand. <laughs> so cool. Wow. The how in the now creates the wow. How you do what you do right now in the present moment creates little mini ha, ahas. And all those ahas add up to a wonderful day and then a wonderful week and a wonderful life. <laughs> Isn't he fabulous? Now, if you want to be a recipient of all of that light that Kochi wants to share with the world, you can log on our website, 6abc.com, to learn more about the American Cancer Society's healed movement. For a small donation, you can get one of those lava bead bracelets and have access to Kochi's new weekly Power Hour, which will be held every Wednesday online. His first guest this week, cancer survivor Mike Schmidt. Boy, is Pat Croce something else, a big ball of energy. And Sarah, if he could get me to meditate, he can get anybody to meditate. I would have to agree with that, <laughs> for sure. A little high strung. We can all use a little bit more of that, for sure, Jamie. That was a great story. Thanks so much.